Some new video tonight after an underground transformer blew up in downtown St. Petersburg. Dozens were nearby when that device exploded. One man capturing a dramatic cell phone video. Chip Wasowski is live in St. Petersburg tonight with more on this story. Now, this is the second day in a row something like this has happened, Chip. So what's going on here? Well, that's a question I wish I could answer, Keith. As you said, yesterday, an underground explosion sent manhole covers flying into the air. And today, deja vu here at the intersection of Central Avenue and 3rd Street. Unfortunately, this time, the second explosion took out power to 18 customers, mostly businesses down here. Cell phone video captured the seconds following the explosion, flames and smoke billowing from the underground transformer vault. Fire crews were on scene within minutes, but had to wait to put the fire out till Duke Energy crews arrived. We can't go in and fight the electrical fire with uh, water, so they were able to isolate the power, which allowed us to extinguish the fire. Once they got the fire out, the power was also out to a number of nearby businesses and eateries. Matt Crowley manages his family restaurant and bar on Central. You know, if I was just a bar, it'd be one thing, you know, I'd just kind of lock the doors and, you know, try to cool the beer back down in the morning and, and you know, business as usual. But, you know, with the food, it's a whole other, you know, I've got probably, you know, eight to $10,000 in food and all my coolers and just trying to keep that product fresh and safe and worry about that. And on Sunday, a similar scene, manhole covers flying in downtown St. Petersburg after a similar explosion. It's just unfortunate that we went through this process on Sunday and now it's Monday night. We're doing it all over again. Josh can Cameron owns two restaurants here and is concerned about his product. Well, with a seafood restaurant, we get like fresh seafood delivered six days a week. And so naturally with the incident happening on Sunday, today we just had huge shipments of seafood come in <laughs> to only now be faced with it all over again. And firefighters rescued a person trapped in an elevator, which stopped when the power went out, but that individual was not hurt. As you can see right here, Duke Energy is working around the clock to get power back onto this, these businesses. I spoke with a representative with the power company a little bit earlier this evening. She told me they hope to have a temporary fix in place and power back on, lights back on to these businesses by 9 o'clock tomorrow. And, and yet it's still kind of scary, Chip, because as you say, they don't know what caused it, and yet they're fixing it. What's to say it couldn't happen again? Here we are two days in a row. Are they, are they concerned this might happen a third day? Well, I didn't get that from the representative, but that's obviously something that they're looking into. It's too early to say exactly what caused this, but obviously they are going to work to figure that out. Chip Ozowski live in St. Petersburg tonight. Thank you, Chip.